Yo, yo, welcome back to another video. And this is the vlog. vlog. In this vlog, we are going to talk about levers, specifically about the different levers in your life that you can pull for progression. I'm getting ready to hop in my car and head over to the gym for my workout. I wanted to share this little bit of a uh, blurb from uh, a good friend of mine named Peyton. As we were on a call yesterday, he started sharing how, you know, we all have those mornings where we wake up and maybe feel a little less than, maybe we didn't get as much rest as we planned, or maybe we just wake up feeling like a little unmotivated. You know, we all have those days. We all have days where we wake up, maybe your sleep score wasn't that great, like mine last night. Truth be told, I got a 54 last night because uh, I woke up in the middle of the night. Uh, my partner and I both woke up and we're up for a bit. I'm not gonna contextualize anything, but both my partner and I woke up in the middle of the night and we were both up for a little bit. And it took me a while to fall back asleep. Now, I am a firm believer in getting good rest and fair rest uh, according to how you wanna show up the next day. And I'm very adamant on doing so, such as like not eating too late, uh, eating things that like my body won't spend a lot of time digesting during the nighttime. And it's been a journey. So in that, what I'm sharing is when I think of the levers that move the needle closer for me on a daily basis, I like to think of the simple levers. Now this is for me specifically, this may look different for you or for others, depending on the type of person you are. But for myself personally, I love starting my day at the gym. Like I honestly feel like my mind isn't working fully until I get some type of physical exertion, a workout or something like that. So that's my first lever. Now, I also recognize that there's some days that I may not feel well enough, like on days where I don't get good rest or maybe wake up feeling a little ill. Those are days where, I mean, not only does my aura ring remind me that today is not a day for breaking records, but it, I also check in with my body, like how am I actually feeling? Am I going to be able to put in the effort that I desire or will I have diminishing return? You know, some days physical exercise may look different. Like the other day, I ended up just doing the sauna in the morning because I wanted to get some type of like sweat going. However, my body was just so run down that it was a day where maybe I didn't need to up the ante. However, I still pulled that lever because that is one of the levers that allow me to be sharp. And that's really what these levers are. It's what levers do you need to pull on a daily basis in order to show up sharp? What do I need to do every single day to be sharp? And for me, one of them is getting up in the morning and doing some type of physical activity. For me personally, I enjoy the gym. Now, my second lever is going to be some type of caffeine or something to stimulate my mind. Now, whether that's alpha G GPC, some type of mushroom complex, sometimes coffee, although I've minimized my coffee and caffeine intake, something to stimulate my mind in that way. I like to give my mind some type of nutrient, maybe even a nootropic, something like that. I have found things that work best for me to allow me to show up sharp in things that are that are sustainable. You know, I don't recommend things like Adderall, Vivance, things like that, because the diminishing return of those things is incredibly negative, which means the upside, the benefit 
is not as great as the downside. The same thing can be said for caffeine, however, not as bad. My final lever. Now, this is a lever that I personally have and some other individuals out there also have them, is cold plunge and sauna. Now, I specifically built these in my house because I can see the vast difference in how I feel mentally and emotionally on days that I get in the cold plunge and days that I don't. Now, I'll be honest, it doesn't get easier. If you have watched these vlogs, you've seen a few of them where I've gotten in, where some of the vlogs, it's easy, others, it is super challenging. Now, I think that that could be a metaphor for how we feel daily. You know, some days we wake up, we're ready to crush the day, and we feel good and ready to go. And others, our mind is not quite there. Now I've recognized on days that my mind is not quite there are usually the days that I need that firm kick in the ass the most from the cold plunge and the sauna. So that is my third lever. You know, as I was chatting with Peyton yesterday and he's sharing this and I'm thinking of these, he asked me another core question that I'm gonna give to all of you. Why do we write our goals down? Why do we track numbers? And why do we have KPIs? <clears throat> well, put simply, is clarity. If you want to pull the levers that make you sharp from doing so, after that, you need clarity of numbers. You need What that means for you, if you're not in a numbers game, you need clarity in what it looks like for forward progression. And number three, you need to show up and earn it every day. I think many people get into this like really good momentum. You know, maybe, like I'll give you an example. I have a friend who got into a, like a fair amount of debt, like $8,000 of debt, medical debt from something that happened with his back. And he like moved from LA to San Diego. I helped him out with getting movers just cause he was in a tough spot. He couldn't physically lift things himself. And so we got him back to San Diego and he started working diligently to get out of debt. And I mean like delivering for like Uber Eats, delivering for Postmates, Grubhub, driving for Lyft, doing all the things to make extra income in addition to his actual job. And man, if that is not pulling the right levers, having clarity of numbers, meaning clarity of knowing exactly how much you need to make to get yourself out of debt in X amount of time, and then showing up and earning it every day, I don't know what else is. That is a prime example of what it means to show up and earn it every day. And I'll be honest, many people only show up and earn it when it's vital, which means in his case, he only showed up and earned it when it was necessary and when it was vital, meaning when he was in debt. Imagine, now imagine this, coming into 2024, this is what I have for you because my 2024 is going to be the best year of my life and I've had a pretty amazing life up until now, so that says a lot. But in this, I really want you all to take a look. What are the levers that I need to pull every single day to show up sharp? What are the things that I either need clarity around my numbers or what clarity do I need to ensure I'm forward progressing and how do I show up every day and fucking earn it? Because many people out there will get outworked with the coming of times, with the, the direction things are going, with AI, with the internet marketing world, the direction that real estate and inflation are going, this 2024 year is going to be the biggest year to double down if you show up and earn it every single day. With that being said, I'm heading into the gym now. I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.